Indian Navy's modern fleet of ships, submarines and aircraft carrier, coupled with its highly trained and motivated personnel, make it a force to be reckoned with on the global stage. Safety and training are critical aspects of submarine operations and the Indian Navy places great emphasis on both. To ensure the safety of the crew and the vessel, the Indian Navy has a rigorous training program that covers all aspects of submarine operations from navigations and weapon systems to emergency procedures and damage control. The crew undergoes extensive training on simulators and in real-life scenarios to prepare them for any eventuality that may arise. The Submarine Damage Control and Firefighting Training Facility is a unique training facility established for training submariners in damage control and firefighting on board a submarine. This facility is set up in Vishakhapatna and is first of a kind in the South Asian region. The facility is indigenous and is aligned with the Atmanirbhar Bharat policy of the Government of India. The facility was conceived and contracted by the Indian Navy and supplied by Messrs. Joseph Leslie Dynamics. The training facility is unique as it provides for exercising, damage control and firefighting in the confined submarine environment. The exercises and drills simulated in the submarine damage control firefighting training facility lay emphasis on following standard operating procedures. It will enable the trainees to experience the fundamental principles and concepts necessary to mitigate and control an emergency while exposed to the elements of flooding, fire, heat and smoke. The facility is capable of imparting training to individual watchkeepers, multiple trainees forming a team and a coordinated training of the entire command team in response to fire or flooding on board. The infrastructure is capable of training around 1800 personnel in a year. The facility will go a long way in honing the standards of tackling fire and flooding emergencies on board a submarine. Gentlemen, today we will be simulating flooding in a duke in auxiliary machine compartment. The rate of flooding will be high. There will be rolling and pitching. So please pay attention to your safety. This facility is provided with two simulators, damage control simulator and firefighting simulator. The damage control simulator is designed to primarily simulate various flooding emergencies in a constrained environment. Sometimes 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 flooding will happen. 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 Sometimes 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 flooding This facility is equipped with high efficiency pumps to flood the compartment in order to simulate actual flooding on board a submarine while imparting training. It is fitted with state of art hydraulic system which oscillates the simulator up to 20 degrees on each side. to provide a realistic rolling experience to the trainees while undergoing these exercises coming to firefighting simulator It is designed to train personnel in fighting fire on board submarines in a realistic environment especially in the typical confined spaces. This facility is created to simulate fires corresponding to the likely fires that may occur on board a submarine like galley fire, oil fire, electrical fire and general fire.
to break this area. This facility has four compartments, top door room with battery deck, control room, galley and mess deck, and machinery room. These compartments are provided with both portable firefighting aids such as AFFF, CO2, Halon, and dry chemical powder, as well as fixed firefighting aids such as VPL, water mist, and top row sprinkling system. All compartments are also provisioned with BIPs, that is, built in breathing system for escape practice of the training. Indian Navy places great emphasis on the importance of ongoing training, enhancing teamwork, communication and decision-making skills in high-pressure environments. This enables the crew on submarines to remain well prepared to handle any emergency situation that may arise. In line with the Atmanirbhar Bharat policy, the Indian Navy is committed to developing indigenous systems and improving the skills of its personnel. These efforts are positioning the Indian Navy as a formidable blue water force in the making.